Hello boys and girls. I thought I would give a little glimpse how stuff's gonna look here on rainy day, uh, work-wise and look-wise. Uh, also the daylight uh, gives me a better opportunity to show off my setup here, especially the work corner. Okay, first the obligatory look at the stove. I think I have finally settled in enough to pick up my work on uh, on editing the Chaos Nova texts. That's what it looks like when it rains. Okay, that's mostly fly shit over there. You can't see the rain fingers. One more look at the war corner because I like it so much. Uh, so basically there was this old radio already here and then I managed to snatch this uh, husk of a really old school radio from the attic and uh, I'm already thinking like mm hmm this would this would make a nice computer case although I have no idea how to do such works just yet so that's just an idea for the future also I might add that uh, the uh, modest work setup uh, with the laptop is very suitable for uh, all sorts of point and click stuff do recommend. Yeah, I think I'd better carry on with my coffee. Okay, let's add some first person exploration to the rainy day action. We are currently right behind my dad's quote unquote backyard. I'm gonna take a little standard stroll across this riverbank kind of the, truly the backyard stroll. Should add headboard maybe. <laughs> oh. Ah, there I see. Extremely, extremely toxic. There should be more beavers on this side as well. I don't know, uh, they probably come out at the dusk or something. Well, 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 an obstacle. I wonder, should I go under or over or or around? Let's go under this time. Speaking of beavers, the trail here doesn't look human to me, unless somebody has been using this uh, bank of a slide. Also, what we have here is a classic uh, beaver tooth pattern on a stick. Look at that. Definitely some beaver action here. Oh, this little growth here. This is not an anomaly or, or an artifact. This is actually a fungus, and as far as I know, it's quite rare as well, and on the protection and whatnot. And uh, this area here is one of the few of its habitats, as far as I know. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. They look down right out of this earth. I think that one passes as an anomaly in, in stalker's terms. That one was that. Hmm. Also, 
I'm going to take this with me. Keep the first two and all that. Uh huh. And I am approaching the first sort of bigger landmark on this path, namely that uh, sandstone cliff over there. That's as far as I go to because I want to get back to my reading and all that stuff. Huh. Blame the deer. Examine. Closer. See the tooth marks. Oh, and if this was a uh, point and click adventure, adventure, then I would be rubbing the light bulb all over the place. Like, will it match the tree, or will it match to the plant, or or whatever? And as a final treat, before I turn back, there's this little swampy, um, pondy area it's, uh, in the, uh, I don't know, root box? I don't know what you call it when a tree falls and, and the crater that's left behind. Yeah, crater. 